Welcome to College Football on ABC, presented by PlayStation 5. A spectacular day for football in the Music City. There are some Gator fans here as well. Number six, Florida, taking on Vanderbilt. And they bring to town what looks like an unstoppable offense in Nashville. It's the Gators and the Commodores. Welcome, everyone. I'm Bob Oshusen, here with Dan Orlovsky. Paul Carcaterra will join us in just a moment. They're not having the year that they want to this year, but he continues to push the message of it's not that Vanderbilt can't, it's that Vandy can, and they just need to continue to believe in that as players and coaches alike. Gators won the toss and deferred, and Evan McPherson hooks this one right over the pylon. And the first since Jay Cutler back in 2002. And they'll run it on first down here. And made it a winner. That's what they need him to do at Vandy. He'll go play action here on second down and eight. Sings one for a first down. Action plays on the run. Screen out to the bubble. That's caught by Cam Johnson. Breaks a tackle. And picks up nine yards. Marlowe. And they've got the first down easily. Quick, and then they'll pace it down slower, changing it up on the defense. JV on Marlowe again. 37 carries this year. Four-man rush. Seals beats it. That's another first. There's a slant, and it is wide open. A keeper, and the first negative play. And Johnson in motion. Seals with a delayed handoff. And Pryor drags a tackler for about four. Big third down in the red zone for Vanderbilt. And it might be a free play. Brenton Cox jumped off sides. That gives an end zone shot to Ken Seals. And he's got a touchdown to Chris Pierce. What a start for Vanderbilt. Boy, that penalty is declined. Touchdown. Fourth consecutive week for Chris Pierce to come up with a touchdown catch as Ken Seals took advantage of the free play. What a great job of using cadence and then understanding you got your free play, but go to the right spot. Chris Pierce is six foot four inside the slot. Just allow that big body to get in between with a rocket ship attached to his back when it comes to it. And he'll flip one out too to Kadarius Tony. This is last week in the win against Arkansas. Off play action, he's well protected here. And he's got Tony again. The zone defense, are you weak? Let me attack it. Damian Pierce, his first carry. And he'll grind out three, maybe four yards. Still on his feet before he's finally driven back. Situation, he's a big time player for them. Trask, again off play action. And does he love the most? Only a three man rush. Vanderbilt plays coverage, and Trask makes them pay. This time it's on time to Copeland for a first down. Trask off play action again. This time he's looking end zone. Just off the fingertips. And down to 10. They'll run it with Pierce. Matchup or what the coverage is going to be. Here comes the blitz. He floats it to a wide open Kadarius Tony as a Vanderbilt defender stumbled, and it is a walk-in touchdown for the Gators. Touchdown. Defensively from Florida. Marlowe. Look us on with your coverage. It would be him, and again, here's Florida late getting set, and Pierce gets the first down. Breaks a tackle and comes up. Her community between the coaching and the players. Seals, play action fake, high throw. Not going to, creating some offsides. Mitchell Pryor, Vanderbilt is without today. Here's Pryor again. Breaks a tackle, he's got a first down. That's today. Again jumping in the neutral zone, the Gators. It's a shot play down the sideline, 50-50 ball, and it looks like it will be another first down for Vanderbilt. That's Will Shepard, a true freshman. Like a basketball play. First and 10 from the 11. A handoff. Opportunity. Full zone read, will simply hand it off to Marlowe. Option pitch, Marlowe. 
nowhere to go. Ventrell Miller runs them out of bounds. It's their plan going in. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't hate that from Vanderbilt. Pearson Cook puts three on the board. Vanderbilt has the lead back. Check down at the point. But when you force a defense to stop your fifth or sixth really good receiver. Snap and identifying what he wants to do here on third down and four. Trask spins out of pressure. Floats one up the seam. First down. Xavier Henderson, the true freshman. Play caller. Florida has all three. Make one right. Four-man rush on second down and 11. And that one is dropped. So we're back. As Derek King was a record-setting high school quarterback, Trask on third down and 11. Runs into his own man as it looked like he had just done enough to avoid the sack. But Gene DeLance, the right tackle, ends up bumping into Trask, knocking him down, and Florida will punt. National television to show everybody how good I am, and he's performing so far. Out of the pocket here, and makes a good decision to throw it away. Felt like I was good enough to be in the league. Pryor. And he will third down and eight. The blitz came from the, you say that every single game. Trask off play action to start this drop near midfield. He's going to take a shot into double coverage. And it's broken up as a terrible punt is a result of this field position as Trask, again, in plus territory, finds shorter underneath. And he picks up 13, maybe 14. Jones on a quarterback keeper. Emory Jones with pressure coming off the edge. Heads the opposite direction. Indiana receiver running by that Ohio State defender is me running by you guys and your jokes. Third down and two. Trask back in. And a nice jump cut in the backfield by Malik Davis. Shark there. Davis. Davis. Mint right at the line of scrimmage by Andre Mintz. Trask on third and five. Off his back foot, hoists it to the sideline, and it should have been intercepted. Has to settle for an Evan McPherson field goal attempt. And he ties it up with 4.15 to go in the opening half. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. Because the way this first half is gone, it's going to be difficult to put them in your top four, especially with the loss to AM. Down goes Seals. Brenton Cox gets the sack. And now they shift the protection that way as Seals puts Marlowe to his right and then hands it to him. And Marlowe. Todd Grantham is Ventrell Miller, who has that right shoulder issue. Quarterback in football still, and the arm is still plenty strong enough. So I'm not surprised by the performance. They got a super talented team as well. Trask finds a soft spot in the zone. They'll run it here with Naquan Wright, and he'll get brought down behind the line. Three-man rush, so Trask with time to throw, squeezes it in to Jacob Copeland right at the line to gain. Ball down the field. Don't have to force anything. Get your completions. This time a five-man rush. The protection is there. Make one right. NFL quarterback. He's going to be on someone's team next year. There's no question about it because of his brains. This time he rifles one up the numbers to Justin Shorter. Four for four on this drive. As Trask. Now he wants one downtown. A jump ball into the end zone. And it's won by Grimes for the touchdown. Kyle Trask up top and asks Trayvon Grimes, just go make me a play. And Grimes does just that to give the Gators the lead. What a great job by Grimes. Does he Find finish the, the this all the way is under review through the contact of the ground? That's the question. And they are going to review. Ooh. 
That looks like it might be incomplete. Right? Doesn't it look like it hits the ground and moves and gets onto that right shoulder? Have to survive the ground and control it all the way through. And does that ball come loose when it hits the ground? It is hard to overturn. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. So they're saying they didn't see enough evidence to overturn the call on the field. Up any points against this Florida offense here. Pearson first down, gets to the edge, and has about the pressure. Let's go. Here's Trask out on the edge. That's a sloppy throw. Trask can run for the first down, although he goes into a slide. They'll run it. And an extra effort for Damian Pierce gets it. Now you can get into the rhythm of your offense again to start the second half. Trask with a check down. Pierce. I'm a secondary player, then he can run the ball at you because he's good enough in the blocking game. Flag down as Trask keeps one to the sideline. Good for a first down. By Trask and Grimes. Play action. Again off his back foot. Wobbly pass to the sideline and running underneath it is Kadarius Tony. And he gets a step down the sideline. And the Gators are back in the red zone. Pierce. Inside the 10 yard line. It's the softest part and go into attack mode. Ninth play of the drive. It's going to be third down and goal. Tight end running back combos. Big play here. Third down. And the screen works, looks like, as Trask comes out as a wide receiver. Grimes takes the Wildcat snap. Instead, it's a walk in touchdown for Pierce. <laughs> Damian Pierce with his third rushing touchdown of the season. And the Gators extend their lead. And boy, does it now look like a terrific decision to go for it on fourth down and one. Bob Wischusen, Dan Orlovsky, Paul Carcaterra, JV on Marlowe. Pull him in early in this drive. Marlowe. Seals. Slam right at the first down line. Fisher will almost always go ahead and stop the game to prevent the timeout from having to take place. Seals has one with second down to 25. Seals out in the flat to Abdur Rahman. He runs a man over. Four man rush. Out of the pocket, Seals right through the hands of a wide open receiver. End around. Tony loses his footing. As this game progresses, these guys are constantly communicating every time Trask is off the field. Malik Davis got shoulder pads. So on first and 20, Malik Davis. The winner of that game could have something to say about it as well. Here's Trask. Out of the pocket. Keeps his eyes downfield. Extends the play. Hoists one and drops it in to Justin Shorter. Big throw. Right over the middle, he's got another first down. Again, it's shorter. Where, and then delivering the ball behind that. Davis. Eight more yards. To play quarterback the best way possible, he can do that. He's twitchy enough to do that. A check down, Malik Davis. Inside the 10-yard line, down to the nine. Elevate this Dolphins above the X's and O's that Dan Mullen calls. He's looking end zone here. Floats one in the back of the end zone and unable to get a foot down inbounds. Red clock at three. Instead, it's Malik Davis. Blockers out in front. And Trask to throw for it. And he's got another. Kamori Gamble, one of those tight ends you said they love to use in short yardage. It looks to be good for a touchdown. The officials get together, though to make sure that Gamble was inbounds. Just watch Gamble, he's on this wing right here. He's gonna wrap to the back of the end zone. Watch that linebacker. This is the op operational space by Trask. That linebacker commits, get it up over his head. It's a great job by Gamble sticking that right hand up. The ruling on the field is a touchdown. Right yep. foot gets down and the left. Well before the left foot made contact, so. From off of the radar screen to the very top. 
this run. It's going to come down to that SEC title game, how he performs against Alabama, if they win, and what his impact on that win is going to be. Terrific throw from Seals. Question. Seals off play action. Rifles one up the seam. Breaking a tackle is Chris Pierce. He's in the open field. Still on his feet. Touchdown. How about that? Vanderbilt a point after away from making this a 14-point game again. And that breathes a little life back into the Commodores' hopes. See Pierce make some plays today. It's a great job in the slot. Cross that safety's face. Run away. Physical, your big 6'4", 230-pound body. Steiner, don't bring you down. Finish at the goal line. Receivers. to Naquan. Naquan right again. Get his knee go down. Game. Quarterback run. Trask has the first down. And more. And it's just Open coming at close. you. Right. <laughs> A wide receiver hitch out to Jacob Copeland. Trask on second and four with a toss. And Naquan right. His grandfather is a young boy. He got some of his size from granddad too. Uh, he's going to take a shot downfield here for the end zone. Screen out to Tony. Lockers out in front. Lost the football. And it looks like it was controlled inbounds by Vanderbilt. And they had it. They take over again. And they'll run it up the middle. With field and makes a catch for you like you did early in this game. It's a first down carry. Keeping his feet, Rocco Griffin. Up the middle. Take their play action shot. There is a play action fake. Seals, nowhere to go. And finally, whistles blow as Chris Bogle was all over him. He is just out of the picture to the top of your screen. Seals instead looks left, throws one right to. Gators rush four. Seals on the slant first down. And he's near the line of scrimmage. Run it right into the heart of that Gator defense with slot to the near side. They'll run it that way. Ninth play of the drive. And easily picking up the first down is Rocco Griffin. Defense that's feeling good. Um, they've got a solid drive going. Seals. That ball pops out. And it ends up in the hands of Grant Miller as center. A rollout at Seals. Rifles one, up the seam, no one home for Vanderbilt. And that's incomplete. And count on your defense to go out there and get a stop. And they will stop it before it gets to the goal line. Perfectly executed, end zone with 10 minutes to go, up by two scores. And he'll throw. Up the sideline. It's a chunk play for Kamari Gamble. Trask with a handoff to Pierce. He's got a lane. He's out to midfield. 15 more yards for the Gators. Pierce again. Trask in those situations. Now it's Henry Jones. He'll run, quarterback run, and pick up a first down. Henry Jones, quarterback run again. Spinning and picking up eight. But he believes that he's an asset to the offense. Here he is to throw. Getting loose again, it's Gamble. Down to the 10 yard line and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Two huge catches on that drive for Kamari Gamble. He pays it off with a 30 yard score. And the Gators are back on top by three touchdowns. One of the reasons why you love Emory Jones in the game, you think run's going to happen. You get one-on-one -on -one matchups to the perimeter, gamble, an easy catch to the flat, broken tackle, and the ability to run down the sideline. No one else is left. The Gators go 99 yards. And Seals will hand this one off at the top of the pole, winning big games. Seals, it's going to come down to. He said, look, be honest, guys, it's going to come down to the game against Alabama. Here's Cam Johnson. 
Spinning out to midfield. The ball pops out. Looks like they've got a pretty good future at quarterback with Ken Seals. Seals. Another accurate throw. Just many. We've had Northwestern this year. Good, good defense. That's going to challenge that Wisconsin-led Graham Mertz offense. Derek Mason as well for this football team. He said something to us this week. Florida beats Bama, and he plays well. He's going to win the Heisman. Here's an end zone lob. That's going to be intercepted. Seals underthrown ball. Kair Elam is there to pick it off at the goal line. And a flag down after the play was over. It looks like unsportsmanlike conduct may be called against Elam. But he's got his second interception this season. The result of the play is an interception. In the NFL. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense number five. Half the distance to the goal, first down. That is number five's first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. <laughs> if I got the interception, I'd probably have some <laughs> excitement as well. Elam's a guy that, you know, when we ask Todd Grantham, defensive coordinator from Florida, like, what do you love about him the most? He said he's a pro, showing up every day, trying to learn, learning from mistakes, and he's a pro. Great pick there. Can't have any fun. Mac Jones outduels him. Kyle Trask won't win that award, hands down. You might be right. As Trask on a rollout, as the ball drops to Jetsch. <laughs> Game-changing days in the Big Ten. It's Malik Davis. Oh, Notre Dame. Trask, first down. Oh, if you're looking at Florida, how is Kyle Trask going to win the Heisman? They have to get to give it to him in spite of a loss or a poor performance that day. And it's going to be against the guy that's also going to be in the conversation. Outstanding numbers in all three of those games. And so, like, he's. You just doesn't look like what those other guys looked like. I'd hope not, because you're either deserving of the trophy in college football or not, and Kyle Trask 100% right now is. Coming up on ABC and the ESPN app, the battle of undefeateds, 3.30 Eastern, Wisconsin and Northwestern. It might decide the Big Ten West. And then at 7.30 Eastern, it's Bedlam, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, and Norman later on tonight in our primetime game on ABC. Well... The final numbers today in terms of the resume for Kyle Trask, another 383 yards and three touchdowns. And what turns out to be a win going away for Florida. Florida controlled this football game really for the great majority of the last three quarters. Credit Vandy, they came out and played a good football game early on, but Florida's got one of the best players in the country in Kyle Trask, and they're as dynamic as anybody. The Gators march on. 38-17 is your final. The Gators over Vanderbilt. Paul Carcatera and Dan Orlovsky. I'm Bob Wischusen. This is just the first of a terrific triple header, as we told you, on ABC. Coming up next, Wisconsin Northwestern. Thanks for watching SEC football here on ABC. Now to Kevin Nagandi in the studio.